Max Verstappen finishes on top of the timesheets as Charles Leclerc finishes in second and Lando Norris in third. Today's qualification results is the starting order for tomorrow's shorter 100km long race that will take place on Saturday. All in all, an exciting recipe that was made even better with the addition of rain. In Q1, the track looked to be drying out as the drivers tried out slick tyres after doing extensive wet tyre runs during practice. However, Lance Stroll had a stunning lap with just 12 minutes to go and he was on provisional pole. Alex Albon's brakes, however, caught fire and then spectacularly exploded as he got out the red flags. He managed to limp his car home. The issue with brakes catching fire, however, is not new to Williams, with the Williams car of Nicholas Latifi having similar issues back in pre-season when his brakes caught fire. Once Q1 resumed, it went down to the wire. As the track conditions constantly changed, so did the leaderboards. In the end, it was both of the Alpha Tauris and William cars that got knocked out, and an unlucky Esteban Ocon who didn't manage to make it in time for, for it to count. The drivers out at the end of Q1 were Yuki Sonoda, Pierre Gasly, Nicholas Latifi, Esteban Ocon, and Alex Albon. Q2 showed us just how unpredictable racing does get. The teams were once again pushing hard in Q2 when Carlos Sainz spun and launched his Ferrari into the barrier. This once again got out the red flags, but this time, as the cars entered the pit, it started to rain. This meant that the track conditions would change once again and no one would be able to set faster times than they had previously set. Drivers out at the end of Q2 were George Russell, Mick Schumacher, Lewis Hamilton, Guan Yu Zhu and Lance Stroll. This meant that Mercedes drivers Lewis Hamilton and George Russell both got knocked out. However, the cars did struggle with the pace throughout the qualifying session. Q3 was just utter chaos. The rain played its part once again and we saw two crashes of Bottas and Lando Norris. However, Lando Norris managed to set a fast enough time to put his car in P3 before he beached his car. Similarly, Magnussen 2 managed to beach his car and managed to get his car out and back running. The late red flags meant that Max Verstappen got on pole as he set the fastest time ahead of the sprint race, Charles Leclerc in P2 and Lando Norris in P3. Formula 1 resumes tomorrow with yet another practice session from 4 to 5 pm, followed by a mini race from 8 to 9 pm. So stay tuned to Furman Motorsports for all things motorsport.